weapons, former members of the gun trace task force used to intimidate citizens and steal stacks of cash and personal items. Prosecutors say the unit supervisor, Sergeant Wayne Jenkins, used a middleman to buy the items on Amazon. That intermediary, a bail bondsman, Donald Stepp, in the middle, was so close with Jenkins, he's seen here posing with the sergeant's service weapon. And when the Ravens last made it to the Super Bowl, they were there together. Step would later testify that he went into business with Wayne Jenkins. The sergeant provided drugs and Step sold them, an arrangement that made him more than a million dollars. Newly released videos show the officers pretending to open a safe for the first time. Hey, Sarge. Hey, come downstairs right quick. They about to get it open. But in fact, prosecutors say they'd already gotten in, took a hundred grand for themselves, then pretended this was the first time they'd laid eyes on the cash. Do not, nobody touches you, understand me, right now. I'm, I'm, keep, I'm keeping the camera rolling. In a separate incident, prosecutors say officers left the scene after a car they were chasing slammed into another vehicle and injured people. They were caught on an FBI wiretap plotting a cover-up. Well, how about we just go on scene and just act like, oh, is everything okay? Yeah. All eight members of the once elite gun trace task force have been convicted on federal robbery and racketeering charges.